warning. The following video clip contains offensive and vulgar language, such as fuck, bitch, and pork. Your discretion is advised. How's it going, YouTube? Uh, it's been a, almost a year, actually, if I haven't made any videos. Uh, it's been so busy, so... Uh, I got a new purchase today. Actually, today is my birthday, so... I got this, so I thought I'd share with you guys. And there's actually some history behind this gun, so I thought I'd uh, share that as well with you guys. So, as you can see, it's a Sig Sauer, and uh, some... 1911 so if you guys watched my past videos or the ones in three four years ago you'll see that I have a lot of 1911s I've built few actually myself as well uh, 2011s and 1911s <coughs> I decided I want to buy one out of the box and uh, in the past 2013 their gun that came out I actually purchased and then I sold um, some of you might know, some not. I'm actually an FFL dealer as well, so I buy and sell guns. So one that we had in inventories was uh, a SIG 511, um, which exactly looked exactly like this gun. Uh, and it was uh, collaborative work between 511 and SIG. Uh, the other gun looked 100% exactly like this gun. Difference instead of the SIG uh, engraving here it was 511 uh, there also was an engraving here on the slide I think it said uh, I don't know always be aware or something like that um, there also uh, a major difference was actually the sights they had the, the Victor tactical uh, sights I believe that's what the name is and that's the one that has the high vis and the night sights so in the morning you can uh, get those fiber optic sights and then at night you get the night sights so SIG made I would say about 150 maybe a couple hundred guns and then that was it that was back in 2013 you might still find some of them every now and then I think there might be like 12 1300 bucks just because uh, the trigger was solid it was not skeletonized and it did have 511 uh, tactical logo on there just etched uh, other than that and I think it only had one safety um, it was just the the left side it didn't it wasn't ambi so SIG just decided that they're gonna come out with this as a standard product so they changed this again they didn't do the 511 and they did the skeletonized trigger hammer and they put an ambi safety they went away with uh, just the Signite side, which they're great sites actually. Uh, so, as you can see, it's a um, the VZ grips and the VZ actually mainspring housing. It's a bobtailed or whatever you call it. I call it bobtailed, some call it uh, different uh, fastback or whatever you call it. It's that carry model some pictures out there that shows some of this gun with a tactical rail it does not come with a tactical rail and actually carry so I think it was was something that SIG was going to make but it was too bulky to actually uh, carry and uh, defeats the purpose that this gun is designed for fit and finish is great um, it's I'm, I believe it's Cerco you guys know I do Cerco as well uh, Looks like the burnt bronze and flat dark earth together. Uh, it looks like when they baked it, they didn't really do a good job on the baking. As you can see, some part shows uh, signs of heat. So the, whatever oven that they baked it in, uh, it was not even heat. Uh, and I know that because I do that. Um, <coughs> from what I can tell, it's... Uh, the bushing is... Uh, uh, my words are running out. The barrel and the bushing are actually, uh, they look like uh, really good quality barrel and bushing. And the, the fit and finish on them is really good. Uh, they look like they might be a match. Uh, barrel and bushing, the lock on the barrel is really great. The grip and the mainspring housing are very nice. Uh, 
they have a good texture that it bites in your hand and it makes uh, of a good grip that trigger looks and feels really nice and crisp not sure if I'm gonna work on this trigger or not to clean it up a little and make it a little bit lighter maybe maybe not but out of the box looks good um, the safety is really nice and positive comes in with an extended mag release extended slide release um, skeletonized hammer and uh, it's kind of like a match grade pistol for the price of just uh, the regular gun magazine drops freely uh, there are two stainless steel mags I'm guessing those are like the checkmate um, magazines um, so it comes with two but uh, shot it today a little bit and it shoots really well uh, it aims where it should go so other than that the gun is nice I uh, took it apart and looked inside looks fit and finishes great inside as well as other, other than parts of uh, a couple parts that had the heat spots doesn't look like even heat uh, in the oven when you're baking uh, or doing the finish so I'm guessing it's Cerakote unless there is a different treatment that they do uh, but other than that the gun looks awesome so if you have any questions feel free to hit me up talk to you guys